What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the 7th beta of macOS Sequoia to developers, and hopefully a little bit later it'll release it to public beta testers. In this video I'll be showing you what is new inside the software, we got a couple things to talk about, let's get started. Alright, the first and pretty much only change inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia is that tapbacks are a little bit different. They have a different effect. So it's like when you move your cursor now. So this looks like a bug, whereas before if you just tapped and held it, it would just keep it like that. But now it's just kind of jittery when you move your cursor around. So I'm not sure why that is. Hopefully Apple fixes that in the next beta. If we will get one, we'll get to that later. But yeah, that's just the only really minor change inside this latest beta of Sequoia. And no, we did not get any changes for screen recording. Still have that controversial pop-up. I did try with two apps, Shotter and Zoom, and they're both the same way. And also app groups are still broken inside this latest beta. So I will definitely be warning people not to upgrade to Sequoia inside of my app. So just like you know, do not upgrade to Sequoia if you want to use Willy Widgets until 15.1 comes out. Well, what can we expect next from Apple? So Mark Gurman actually said that he does not expect Apple to release another beta at all next week. And that beta 7 is the final version of iOS. However, he only mentioned iOS, not macOS. So we could get a beta 8 of macOS, however, that is pretty unlikely. And I think that we, the next time we will get something macOS Sequoia related is next week, but that will be 15.1. And that's when we will be seeing some brand new Apple intelligence features. And then after that, they're going to skip a week. And then they're going to release the RC of Sequoia. And Sequoia, besides the app group feature, the controversial pop-up for screen recording, it has been pretty good. iPhone mirroring seems about the same, and nothing really changed in the release notes besides some shortcut feature. But yeah, this is looking like what macOS Sequoia will be inside the next beta and all future betas. It seems 100% ready besides the app group and pop-up, and it looks like this is what it is going to be released as, unfortunately. Now thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, tell my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!